Commander, how fast can you get to Jahai? Why? Well, Zayim is hosting a summit for all the different Elonian factions to figure out what to do now that Joko's gone. And he's trying to get them to stop hating and fighting each other long enough to form an alliance. It was all going okay until Aureen... Well, look, Aureen crashed the summit and now she won't leave. Everyone's panicking and Joko's loyalists are ready to riot and Aureen won't listen to me and I don't know what to do. I'll be right there. Uh, okay, good. Meet Bram at Vitendi Vineyard and he'll bring you into the city. There you are. If we don't get Orin out of there soon, Udamishi and the others are gonna start a war. Again. Udamishi's at the summit. Yeah, it's been a weird day. You'll see when you get there. Don't want to cause a panic in the city, so we'll use the back way in. Old Corsair route, right under Joko's nose. We can head in there whenever you're ready. Why is Orin even in Jahai in the first place? She's been all over Aloma lately. Defending villages, cleaning up the branded. Pretty impressive stuff. Joko hit Jahai pretty hard. So I'm guessing she swooped in to check on him. Seems like it took a lot out of her though. Collapsed right there in the summit room. Collapsed? Do you think it's because Eating of- Eating Joko would give anybody indigestion. But maybe she's just trying to do too much. She needs to pace herself. We've still got Kralkatoric to deal with. About that. Time you wanted an update on Kralk. Only we can't raise Kaz and Jory on the comm. She's starting to worry. I'm sure they're okay. Keep trying. Let me know as soon as you reach them. Welcome to Jahai, Commander. The delegates are all inside. Look at these fools, celebrating his death. How quickly they forget all the good he did for Alona. The heretics will be punished for their treachery. A year ago, they would have killed you without a second thought. 
A year ago, they didn't have a choice. Now they're free. All they want is to feel human again. Give them a chance. I know it's stupid, but I can't shake the nerves. It's just... It's so long since I've been... a person. Holy fine. Listen. Your descendants are gonna love you. Those filthy undead creatures expect us to treat them like people now? Ugh. It's like a dull yak asking to sit at the dining table. Let's just wait for the commander to arrive. Don't you expect me to See, watch while the monster that ate our king just sits there, licking its chops? Clearly, it's acquired a taste for Awakened, and now it's back for more. Orin wouldn't do that! You don't know her! Do you? Thanks for gods. Commander, welcome, uh... Do you think maybe you could uh, relocate your dragon? She won't budge. I think she was waiting for you. Well, I'm here now. Aureen, we need to leave. Let these people do their work. <laughs> ah! Not even the so-called commander can control her. Urumishi, really? Aureen, let's go. This is no place for a dragon, and you know it. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'll get her out of the city. Yep, for a little stroll, Orin? Or maybe a long one? This is not how I expected today would go. Uh, since you're here, Commander, could you help me calm the delegates? We need to get this summit back on track. Ambassador Siana. She speaks for the Free Awakened. Free Awakened? We've shed the chains of servitude for the promise of a new life, and we're grateful for the second chance. Oh, and by the way, I trust you got in okay. The route was my idea. Yeah, remembered it from my Corsair days. Thank you. Again. Eat my dust! Representing Joko Loyalists, you remember Grand Vizier Udmishi? Former Grand Vizier. Your commander saw to that. And if you think I'm negotiating for one more second after you send a dragon to assassinate us... Udmishi! If that was my plan, you'd be dead already. Leave the summit now, and your demands leave with you. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, but I will be treated with respect, or I walk. Arcana Beru, representing the Morden Crescent. You're back. I've died plenty of times, Commander. It never sticks. I trust we can put this uh, incident behind us? Why, Zaim, I was the picture of diplomacy before the dragon showed up. Anyway, I'm sure we'll all get what we deserve. Redeemer Kosan is here on behalf of the Order of Shadows. Welcome to the show. Quite a circus, even before your dragon showed up. These people aren't going to play nice anytime soon. All that centuries-old hatred and distrust. I don't expect them to like each other. I just need them to agree on... something. Anything. New tyrant, maybe. Nothing brings people together like a common enemy. Well, that went, uh, reasonably okay. If you're up for it, I'd like you to stay for the rest of the summit. Now, delegates, we were discussing the need for a governing council. 
Pulse Palawa Joko. Again, you assume he's permanently dead. They call him the Immortal King for a reason, you know. He's not coming back this time. Boreen made sure of it. Says the outsider whose entire reputation depends on that being the case. Is that why you sent that thing here? To flaunt your victory? To scare us into abandoning our king? Not a... <sighs> Look, Joko is gone. We have to come together come if Come together? We're... With the toadies of the monster who killed us? Awakened us? Made us his slaves? Traitors! As if I would debase myself by sharing a table with someone like you. What did I tell you? Wait. Where did these Morden Crescent come from? Ah, there they are. Now we can finally begin the main event. I was willing to indulge this farce. I really was. But once again, you had to bring your dragon in to threaten us. You're a danger to Alona. You all are. In fact, the best thing for Alona would be for all of you to go away. Guards? This land belongs to the Morden Crescent, not to the weak, the ungrateful. Awakened, Sunspears, you're all pathetic, and now you're done. We're taking Alona back by force. Enough! Oh, Koss. Commander, good to see the sun again. Anybody else got a problem with peace? Go on, you can speak freely. No? No one. Suit yourselves. Now then. Spear Marshal Zaim has offered a treaty. Debate is over. This is the part where everyone votes. What say you? Under the circumstances, we agree to your treaty, Spear Marshal. As do we. From this day on, the Free Awakened are yours to command. You are welcome among the Sun Spears, Ambassador. Gods, I'm going to vomit. We're not joining you traitors. We demand land of our own, where we can await Joko's return. Oh, for... Joko's dead. And Kral Katorik is still out there. You'd rather sit on your hands than help us take him down? What about your dragon? The one who's actually terrorizing Alona right now. The real threat isn't Kral Katorik. It's you! Commander, I finally heard from Kaz and Jory, and it's not good. They lost Kralkatorik. Define lost. They said he just... vanished. I think he... What was that? Shatterer! Ah. commander Do something! Oh, now I'm the commander. Everybody out. This way! Friend, clear them out! Commander! What was that? Kraut sent his lieutenant after us. But that Shatterer is supposed to be dead! Next time! Our means in no shape to fight. I'll try to get her out of the city. We have to help them. You do what you want. I'm getting out of here in one piece. Are you with me or not? Guess not. Zaim, take the others and get them to safety. But my people... I'll help them. Go.
I know you're scared, but you're strong. You can fight back. Follow me and I'll get you out of here. Be okay. Commander, I'm reading more free awaken ahead of you. Marine, stop! You can't fight this time! you out. Come to me. I'll protect you. to me. I'll protect you. I need your help. 
I found a path leading outside. Can you head east and meet us there? I'll do my best, assuming the Shatterer doesn't... Oh, the Time to move! Move! Run to me! Over here! Come to me! I'll protect you! Should've listened to me earlier. Now where's that dragon of yours? You're right, Commander. No running. We won't be chained again. Just to make sure, reality definitely just ripped apart, and the Shatterer definitely flew into the rip. Right? What was that? No idea. Uh-uh. But the energy readings are... Uh, I don't even know what they are. You saw that too, right? Not the first time this has happened. Look, I ran into Almora in the vigil on the way here. It's been a while, Commander. We've been tracking that Shatterer since Kralk raised it from the dead. Till it downed our airships and then vanished through some kind of hole in the sky. Sound familiar? Tears in reality itself. How do we begin to deal with this? We work together to face the unexpected. We have no other choice. Hmm. We'll discuss our options. Following you is out of the question, but perhaps we can work something out. So not to make things, like, way worse, but I am getting crazy readings from outside. More of those things have opened up all over Jahai. The energy signature is insane. And an entire village was literally just branded, as in five minutes ago. What in the God's names is going on? Timey, take the group with you to find Orin. Bram, scout the village for info. I'll check out these rifts. <sighs> so much for peace after Joko. Cause, I can't believe it. Do I? You can never Do have too you? much treasure. No, but I know you. I'm Kosan Dejarin. We, we should go talk somewhere. Short answer is, we didn't. Saw Krakatorik bring his lieutenant back from the dead. Tried to put it down for good. Ugly brute had the gall to attack our ships, and then rip open some kind of portal. So we changed tactics. Figured it would try to take a bite out of you, and we were right. Forming one. I'd rather not wait for the Shatterer to pop up and surprise us. So we're gonna outsmart it. We'll lure it into a spot to our advantage. Then we'll hit it with everything we can get. Worms, griffins, full force of the vigil. You should join us out there. 
I'm gonna send Krog's lieutenant back to him bit by bit. Just my way of saying thank you. I appreciate what you did back there. I know you saved as many as you could. Okay, I marked the areas with sky-high energy reading. If you can, try and take a sample from each of them. Those tweaks I made to your comm device should let you transmit sample data to me. And, um, be careful, okay? reached one of the anomalies. What do you see? Timey, it's a jungle. In the middle of the desert. Wait, a what? Okay, um, describe it. Any flora you recognize? Fauna? You're not going to believe it, but I see chalk. Lots of them. What? <laughs> Did you say chalk? But that should be impossible. They're native only to the McLuhan region. <laughs> You were in the other room. How did you? This requires extensive study. I'm going to sample of the insect's mucus. Make that several samples. Yep. You heard him. Kill rising. I'm in bad shape here.
the result, Gorik? The Chuck! Maguma Chuck! In God. the desert! What a time to be alive! Okay, so a chunk of Maguma is now in Alona! Writing that down. Okay, let's grab some data. Wait, I read... Commanded! involved. But we still don't know what these things are. We gotta check out those other sites. Before the shield breaks. 
The person who killed Joko? Really? This is absolutely 100% the person you want to ask for help? Please, talk to them. Help them see reason. If you're going to help, you better hurry up. I'd like to survive this. Thank you very much. My dust! They look more cheerful now. Siana, do your thing. You know, with the speeches. Ah, oh, with the speeches. <sighs> when someone as powerful as Joko falls, the world is changed. All you have to do is look around to see that's true. Honor that sense of loss. It's real. But after grief comes a stillness. A time for rebuilding. We must... Is that... Is that Joko? It's him! Hello, my ever so crispy little traitors! It's me! I'm back! Yes, Joko the 
definitely deathless never dies. Master, I never doubted. You absolute bull. This isn't Joko. Master, you come back at last. Behold the answer to all your questions. Me, the amazing, astronomical, all-powerful Emperor Joko. Eat my dust. You must like me. Urge to kill rising. I appreciate he left the help. me alive? That wasn't the real Joko. He was an imposter. I congratulate you on your quick thinking, Uramishi. Guess there's nothing left for us to do here. Between humans and Char. You mean like the Char invasion of Or? The one that happened centuries ago? Wait, wait a second. Okay. This might sound dust. weird, but I want you to try something. Join the battle. Oh, See if you can affect the outcome. Are you sure? Trust me, it'll. 
probably be fine. Or we'll see another day. Okay, fight's over. Now what? Just watch for a second and tell me what happens. Tear those mice apart! Stop war into the dust! Timing the whole battle just resets over and over. It's like I never did anything at all. You're in some kind of echo of the pop, like a recording that can't stop replaying itself. Let's see. Oh, if you're near the Vizier's Tower, there should be another tower north of it. Climb maybe halfway up, and you'll see a tablet. I want you to read it for me. It sounds silly, but go with me. he could have seen this. Yeah, me too. So that confirms it, I guess. An echo of the Char invasion was ripped out of time. Ugh. Wait till the prior hears about this one, right? Nice gear. See it too? Thought perhaps it was all in my head. It just appeared out of nowhere. The fungus. I've never seen anything like it. Wherever this came from, it's not part of Tyria. As in, it's from another world? Oh, wow. We need a sample of that fungus. What the? Careful. Inhaling the spores could have. I... can't feel my fingers. Adverse effects. In the space between two Asura gates, do you cease to exist? Is the you who returned from the dead the same as the you who died? Can Palawa Joko awaken himself? Oh, have you ever noticed how soft Ritlock's fur is? Mm. That's it, Commander. Think of Ritlock. Oh no. I don't like this. Are they truly your friends? Or do they follow you out of obligation? Urge to kill Just rising! I'm reaching me. You'll be okay. There 
here we go. Back safe and sound. And armed with new data. Uh, please don't mention this to anyone. Mention what? Leave me be. I, um, may have already sent a recording to literally everyone you know. <laughs> Sorry. So, Blish and I have been analyzing the samples you found. And you are not gonna believe this. I don't believe it. That disturbance you saw at the summit? It was a rift in the mess. And it's happening all over the place. Ruptures are occurring in the barrier between our world and the next. That's what's causing, well, all of this. And you know how we saw Branded climbing out of those rifts? That means, um... Yeah. Kralkatorik is inside the mists. Sparks! How is this possible? Elder Dragons have never been able to- Guys, I need you over here. Now. We got survivors. A whole group of them. Wait, in that branded village? How- Commander, you gotta check it out. Big house on the north side. I'll be waiting. of one of the players. It just doesn't feel right. Think of it this way. There you are, Commander. Hey, you want to repeat what you told me? We saw that dragonfly overhead. The one who's been helping people? Next thing we knew, the sky tore open, and then... our home was gone. But how did you survive? The entire village is branded. We were in here when it happened. It didn't reach us. You make heads or tails of this, Tommy? Blish? No, not unless... Of course, the mountainside. The brand can't penetrate that much bedrock. Okay, we need to take everyone somewhere. Deep underground or something so we can form a plan. Somewhere like, uh... <sighs> hey, give me that thing. <clears throat> How does this even work? Hello, Commander. I know a place. Old Sunspear Sanctuary from long ago. Probably been abandoned for years. For years! Yes! Commander, can you meet him there? Bran too. We'll keep looking for Aurene. And then... Uh, we figure out how to fix this mess. That looks valuable. And you're my great-grandson, with a few extra greats. I see. You have her eyes. Whose? Milani's. Commander, you okay? Kralkatorik is in the mists. Chunks of another reality are bleeding into ours. We have to fix this, Bram. Hey, we will. We always do. Let's get this place ready to welcome the survivors. More to then explore. Then we'll handle the bigger problem.
Can you raise that bridge from the other side, Commander? I'll throw the torch to give you a little light. Don't we need one over here? I brought a spare. The Order of Shadows always comes prepared. safe enough. We can use it as a base from which to form our battle plan. Figure out how to clean up that Elder Dragon's mess. Commander, we finally found Aurin. She, she fell out of the sky over Yandara. Fell out of the sky? She's fine, but she needs to rest. We're on our way to the sanctuary now with a few civilians. Then we better get this place ready for her. We need to activate Cormier's fire. Activate what? Her final gift to us. Used her magic to keep the area safe. Spiderwebs. Because the problem with this place is it's too cheery. Good thing I brought the right gear. Corn and tar. Burns a little hotter. Just give me the word. Go ahead. What did I tell you? Inner chamber is safe. Ah, behold, you... the chamber of the sun. Ah, looks like the current residence redecorated. What matters is that it's safe from Kraukatoric. If my history lesson was correct, lighting these fires will activate Cormir's protection spell. Let me know when you're ready. And you might want to stand back or something. It hasn't been lit in a while. Light it. Isn't the outer ring lighting? Webs must be blocking the fire. Uh, what was that? Damn it! Whatever it was caused a cave in. We're trapped. Kind of sounded like.
things just keep coming. We'll keep these busy. You check on the other bridges. Unless Bram wants to sit this one out. Me? Don't be ridiculous. But I could stop them all dead in ten minutes flat. Ten whole minutes? We should be pace. Seven. Seven minutes. Ah, now you're talking. Hassan, my boy, let's show them this family can hold our own. on the web. Seven minutes, huh? Just 
glad it's over. Bram, I didn't know you're- I'm not! That's just... Rox always takes care of the spiders. I think we can relight Cormier's fires now. Commander, do the honors? You'll need this. Catch. There. This place has a new purpose. Feels like it needs a new name. I hereby declare thee... Sun's Refuge. Perfect. I hope your friends will be able to... Whoa! Uh, what are all these rocks doing here? Oh, hey, Commander! Look, Aureen! We made it! Go ahead and sleep it off. Wait! Triangular web structure? Bioluminescent traces? This lair houses the Lubinella Cadentis! They were supposed to be extinct! They are now. Not that I don't like being safe in here, but, um... How are we gonna stop the crazy outside? Rapator's presence in the midst is destabilizing the border between our world and the next. So what does that actually mean? I don't want to sound alarmist, but reality might. Is this an agreement? Well, what does that mean? Wait, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. Why is Krupp doing this? What's he after? That villager said something that stuck with me. Right before the rifts appeared, they saw Aureen. The same thing happened in Jahai. The Shatterer attacked after Aureen paid us a visit. Wait, the data I have on the mist rifts... Give me a second. That's it. Krakatorix attacks? They're all places Aureen was at first. She's the connection! That crystal monster. He's hunting her. Aureen should be safe as long as she stays in the chamber. But these walls are old. We need to fortify. Good idea. We can't afford any surprises. Outside! Brandon, everywhere! They found us. Let's move! We'll protect Aureen. Go! Civilians to safety. Friend, shut that rift. Break the hunt. Not enough energy. Running out of dirt.
sorry. You're better than this. Focus. How is this possible? You're asking the wrong Norn. Look, we can't stay in this world for long. Glint sent us with a message for Orin. Alcatoric has begun to consume the magical energy inside the mists. Just like he consumed Balthazar's magic. That explains all the chaos out there. If allowed to continue unabated, he will devour reality itself. Lish was right. Orin is inside. This way. Mother, I... I don't... Can we... talk? Graham, we don't have a lot of time. And talking was never our strong suit anyway. What's done is done. I wasn't what you needed. I know that. I'm sorry. But I had to be true to myself. I had to follow my legend. I didn't want to leave you behind. Believe me. I knew the cost. But if I'd stayed, what good to you would I have been? I'm not asking to change the past. I just... Seeing you now... Is it really too late for us? Yes, Bram. It's too late. I'm dead. And anyway, I could never have been the family you needed. Don't you see? You have that family. These people love you. They will grow your legend. If you'll just stop trying to drive them away. But... And yet, they're still here. Look at that. Let me go, son. Live your life. Mr. Snap? Sir, um, can I pick your brain about concave versus convex reflectors in Surveyor Golem visual sensors? You're quite precocious, aren't you? What did you say your name was? Tiny, sir. Ah, Soldier's Apprentice. That explains Uh, explains what? Oh, I've heard great things. <laughs> hey, Aurene. How are you feeling? Maureen, I need you to listen carefully. Your mother sent us. Clint is doing everything she can to hold off Kralkatark, but she won't win. She needs you. It's time for you to fulfill Glint's legacy. Wait, what does that mean? Maureen must kill Kralkatark. 
and replace him as Elder Dragon. Now. No. She can't face Krau Katorik alone. She isn't ready. Not alone, Commander. Your fate is entwined with hers. The prophecy hinges on you both. You must take him down together. And do not tarry. The more you wait, the more powerful Krakatorik will become. What, you expect them to take down a walking hurricane by themselves? Or even still a kid? Stop it! You're scaring her! This is why you were brought together. Last failed. Because he didn't have a champion, Commander. He didn't have you. Then I'm going too. They're not doing this alone. They're not doing it at all! Maureen, look at me! Defeat Krakatorik and take his place! It's what you were born to do! had a premonition, a vision of the future, of multiple futures. The outcome is always the same, no matter what we do. Aurene dies. We just came from outside. Aurene broke straight through the branded crystal. She's... she's gone. Oh gods, not even the dragon will face Krokotorik. What are we going to do? We have no way to know when he's coming. Please. Everyone, calm down. Calm down? You saw what it's like out there. Come here. Hear my prayer. Actually, I think I can... He comes out of nowhere. I don't want to die. We already lost a whole village. I have an idea. We, we could... have to fight back. It's no use. We'll never see him coming. Everyone, Blish has something to say. You're frightened, and you have every right to be. But we need to be strong for each other. We need to stay calm. How are we supposed to stay calm when an Elder Dragon could attack at any moment? Luckily, handling dragons is what the pack does best. The Commander and I have a plan to keep you safe. What is it then? What's the plan? Patience. If anyone can think his way out of this, it's Blish. He can do anything. Inaccurate, but thank you. I believe I can create a device that will warn us when Kralkator is coming. And we're going to begin working on it immediately. Right, Commander? Yes? Uh, yes. Of course. Lead the way. I'll send word to the remaining Sunspears, Commander. They should join us here soon. How are we supposed to just trust him? A golem? What if we have to leave again? You really have a plan? Not yet. But widespread panic had to be averted. However, I have the beginning of one. This aside, our most pressing problem is that we don't know when or where Kralkatorik will appear. But if we were to enter the mist and affix a tracking device to him, I could create an algorithm to predict his movement. And use it as an early warning system. Evacuate settlements he's headed toward. But how do we pull this off? Leave the device to me. A boonie lure. Magic tasty enough to tempt a dragon. Something like... Ah! Balthazar sword! There might be a problem with that. I know. The sword was lost when you killed Balthazar. 
it may not even exist anymore. But word is, the Priory is currently surveying the battle site. If anyone can find that sword, it's them. Shall we? Our mother used to entice Gorik and me into taking medicine by giving us candy. Same theory here. We need Kralkatoric to ingest the device. Balthazar's sword, and by extension, his tasty magic is the candy. Eat my dust! Sorry, I... I need some time to think. Can we talk later? I should have asked for his autograph. He's a ghost. Can he even hold a pen? Uh. I mean, he can hold a rifle. Besides, uh. hero worship is unhealthy. Only leads to disappointment. Gorik, we need to talk about letting people have their fun. in my databanks for the tracker we'll put on Crown Katori. We just need to find Balthazar's sword to use as bait. Hopefully your Priory friends can assist us. Vlish, why are you going to all this trouble to help the people here? You mean, why would an inquest to Sura bother to do something for somebody else? To be honest, it was tiny. I only ever cared about science for its own sake. But she wants to use it to help people. Seeing her again. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be dead. Science gave me a second chance. I will make it count. Our sword. We need it in the fight against Grau Katoric. And time is of the essence. Is that a fully sentient golem? And a certain scientist in a golem's body, actually. And we're in a hurry. By the pale tree! How does that work? Tell me everything. We really are short on time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, if it's the sword you're after, you're in luck. Just finished mapping its trajectory. Take a look. From the blast pattern, Balthazar was standing here. And of course he was right-handed, altering the sword's angle. And the crystal formations indicate Kralkatorik's storm came from this direction. So if we apply a simple velocity time graph, theoretically the sword should have landed somewhere around here. <sighs> We've already dispatched a few scouts to sweep the area. And you're sure this is correct? Math never lies. Indeed, it does not. All I ask is this. When you're finished with the sword, donate it to the Priory for study. That may not... You know what? Sure. We'll do our best.
Lord. You have to go after it. What happened here? I don't even know. One minute we were pulling Balthazar's sword from the sand, exactly where Nerith said it would be. Uh, the next, everything went black. Woke up with a bloody shoulder, and no sword. It was that sniper! Sniper? Came out of nowhere! Picked us off before we knew what was happening! He was like a ghost! A shadow! Did you see where he went? He headed southeast from here! To the garrison! Southeast. Got it. Nothing is ever easy, is it? I know you can handle yourself, but I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dead Eyes got the whole place on lockdown. By himself? Just who is this guy? He's a she. And she's kicking our tails. Flooded the area with poison gas. Perched herself in a perfect spot. Some sort of priestess, I think. Doesn't seem like she's up for a friendly chat. In that case... Uh, I'll provide moral support. From out here. Stay out of sight. If you're here to claim his sword, turn around. You have no right to it. Leave now and live. Voice amplification. You'll have to get close if you want to talk to her. Wait. I know that face. You're the hero of a moon. Oh good. Maybe we can use this to our the one who killed my god. Uh oh. How proud you must be, killer of gods, slayer of dragons, trumpeting your heroism, no thought for the cost. All those lives left discarded in your wake, collateral damage. Six short days were given to mourn the fallen. Six Days. Then we reforge their weapons and return to the fight. I didn't ex- Wait, you look familiar. Do I know you? You know nothing about me. Or my priesthood. The family you destroyed. Take whatever you want, because everyone calls you a hero. Stop! Just let me... Ugh. After you killed him, people were celebrating. And I was afraid. Too afraid to open my lips to say that I... I remember him differently. You don't understand what Balthazar's priesthood was. What they gave me? They taught me that the things that had been done to me, the choices I'd had to make, those things hadn't broken me. 
they had forged me. My scars were records of failure. They were badges of survival, of resilience. Balthazar's people didn't offer me miracles. Only meaning. They had forged me. My scars were records of failure. They were badges of survival, of resilience. Balthazar's people didn't offer me miracles. Only meaning. Stop! I, I've seen you before. I think we might want the same thing. Really? Because what I want is justice for the god you murdered. Justice for my people. so easily. Not to you. After you, the forge was cold. The practice yards empty. The temples silent. My brothers and sisters gone. I wandered the heights and called their names. The echoes came back unanswered. I was... I am completely alone. You had snuffed him out. People have already forgotten everything he was. Everything we were. Now the world will remember us only by the worst thing our god ever did. Do you understand? You've made their sacrifice meaningless! So, this is it. I'm not a fool, Commander. I know you didn't cause Balthazar's fall from grace. You just... Uh, moved things along. I spent so long aching for revenge. Now... Now I'm just tired. My fight is over. I'm ready to join my family. Do it! It is you! From the vision! Your fight isn't over. Not yet. What are you talking about? I can't bring your god back. But I can offer you a chance to finish what he started. I'm working on a way to kill Kralkatorik, without disrupting his magic. Help me finish it, please. Anyone else would simply kill me and take the sword. Anyone else you would have killed. 
and I've seen a better way. We reforge the weapons of the dead to pass their strength on to others. So, you may have his sword. My help, on the other hand, we'll see. Will you tell me who you are? I'm Zephira, and you are not what I expected. I gave you the sword. Now go. Do what you must. Thank the alchemy. I was worried you would make it out in one piece. And you have the sword. I do, but it seems, well, lifeless. Mormon, I feared as much. To attract Prophet Work's attention, it will need to be activated, so to speak. And how do we activate it? Magic. Powerful magic. Uh, luckily, we're surrounded on all sides by a potent brandstorm. If you carry the sword inside... No. Next idea. Hear me out. All you need to do is expose yourself to the brand lightning for seven, eight seconds maximum. Lish. <sighs> As you wish. I, I do have a backup plan. It involves your large revenant friend. Ridlock? You mean we can use Sahathan? Precisely. I'll have time to contact him. Meet me at Sun's Refuge and we'll get this sword working. And just so you know, if that fails, we're definitely using the lightning. Better security. Apparently. Does this mean you're helping us? It means I'm keeping an eye on you. And the sword. Bring this sword back to life. Oh, hello. You... you can reignite it? How is that possible? Uh, Commander? Who's your new friend? This is Zephira. She was a priestess of Balthazar. And I am not your friend. Um, nice to meet you, too. Introductions can wait. We need to get this sword lit. Ritlock, do the honors. Stand back. Yes, it worked. Whoa, hey, where's it going? It seeks Balthazar, it senses his magic. I don't understand. Balthazar was never here. But Orin was. The sword perceives him through her? Just who is this dragon of yours? Someone who needs our help. Now, to enter the mist and attach this tracker to Kralkatoric. Won't be easy. Can't just kick in a door like a Joko's palace. Actually, we can. If the Brandit have been exiting through the rifts, it stands to reason we can use them to enter. What, get dumped into some random who knows where? It's the best shot we have. And once we're inside, Glint will protect us as much as she can, at least. I assure you, Blish and I have executed plans far more dangerous than this. Ridlock, I need you to enter the mists and gather as much information as possible. Find out how to reverse the damage. On it. Enough talk. 
Let's get going. No, Gorik. This time, you're staying behind. What? Brother! If you think I'm going to sit around while you get first-hand experience with an Elder Dragon... My bone body will keep me safe. But if anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. Gorik, this is going to be hard enough as it is. I won't be able to focus if I'm worried about you. You know I'm right. Fine. But when you get back, I want a full report. With diagrams. It's a deal. Commander, before you go, can we... With everything that's happening, I might not get another chance. You okay, Bram? I just wanted to say... Well... I've been an idiot. I know it. Sometimes I just... don't use my head. But no matter what I put you through, you never gave up on me. And I didn't... I was so... I mean, you should have just knocked some sense into me. Spirits know I deserved it. Grief can make us... not ourselves. It's okay. It's not okay. It's no way to treat... family. That's what we are, you and me. Family. It took me long enough, but I finally got that through my thick head. From now on, wherever you lead, I'm right behind you. Not behind me, Bram. At my side. To the end. To the end. Excellent. Now let's get this tracker business dealt with, shall we? Ah, uh, and not that I was eavesdropping. Golem oral sensors. Sorry. Okay, let's go over the plan. This tracker will allow us to predict where Cloud Katorik will be before he pops out. Our mission, enter the mist, and get Cloud Katorik to swallow this sword and the tracker. Step one, find a rift. At least that part will be easy. Marshal Thackeray would be here. The general said he wasn't ready to return. Heard some golems gonna dig. So, one moment, wedding. solid crystal. Oh. The next moment, you want us to go raid the garrison? should allow us well, to enter the mist. here goes nothing. Any last words? Let's not jinx it. What? What is this? Machines! It's a full-on war between Glint's army and the Branded. It's a distraction. Glint is buying us time. Then let's use it to our advantage. We'll have to set the bait further inside, away from the fighting. I think I see a shelter up ahead. Vulcans are smashing! Seize it! Here they come! Don't let them take the sword! Fortification, critical interference. I think this is our spot. Now to set the bait. 
How much time do we have? Kralkatorik senses the sword. He is coming for you. Glint! All right, then. The answer appears to be very little. Hurry and clear out these branded. and I'll get to work on the tracker. Keep an eye out. The Brandon won't make this easy. No! I'm not finished. Focus on the tracker. I'll keep them off you. Junk. Give me a signal! Yes! Commander, it's working! Kralkatorik draws near. Glint! He's heading for the sword! We did it! Feel that static? He's coming! Get ready to run! Balthazar's magic. It's reacting to Kralkatorik. I'm trying to fix the tracker. Can you hold out a little longer? Don't worry about me. Just get it working. Trying. 
must escape. Retreat! Lish, we've got to get out of here. The power source! I can't get it to work! Go! Now! Yes, go! I'll handle it! Go, Commander! Get out of here! What? I'm a machine, remember? He can't brand me! You're mortal! You need to get to safety! I'm not leaving without you! Come back for me when the storm passes! We've come too far to give in now! Blish! I'll be fine, Commander! Go! So, don't be mad. Uh, I lied. What? What are you saying? The power source is dead. I can't fix it. But my golem body can power the tracker indefinitely. I just have to take my higher functions off mine. Permanently. Wait, what? No! At the docks, Gorick said... I know, but I'm just one person. We're talking about the end of the world. If I can find the time to stop crowd control, then... No! There has to be another way. I'm not letting you do this. With all due respect, Commander, it's not up to you. Lish, say something. Lish. Commander? Commander, come in! Are, are you okay? I'm... 
I'm fine, but... I'm getting a signal from the tracker. <laughs> Come on back, you two. We're gonna celebrate in style. You did it, Commander. We're receiving a signal from the tracker. Wait, where is... I had my doubts about whether the sword's magnetic pull Gorg, would... there's something I need ...would to... still be functional. But like always, Blish was 100% correct. I don't... Listen to me. Blish had to... Don't know how I ever doubted him. Blish can do anything he puts his mind to. Gorg, please. Did he say anything? He said... He's sorry. But I saved him. Gorek, wait! Let him go. There's something else. He said... We need to stop keeping secrets from each other. Lish! I guess it's time. I wasn't ready to tell you, but, um, my condition... It's not in remission anymore. It's getting worse. Worse how? Sometimes the pain is so bad I can hardly focus. I can't calculate how much time I have, but... There's an end. Blish was the only one I told. I thought he might be able to help me stay here longer, but now he's... Jaime, if we had known... Blish sacrificed himself to give us time to stop Kral Katorik. That's our priority. Do you ever slow down? Hey, we have a job to do. But there's no way we can do this without Aurene. We have to find her. How? She didn't exactly leave a note. I think I can help with that. The priestess was right. You do need better security. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? I can't stop thinking about Flish. He seemed so invincible. I finally had him back for good. And now... He could have lived forever in that golem body. He, how could he just throw that away? He chose to help a lot of people despite the cost. His life meant something. His death meant something. That's powerful, isn't it? I just... I just hope I get a chance like that. Hey, I know you're beating yourself up about Blish, but he gave his life to save the world. We should all be so lucky. It's like that thing the Olmacon say. His memory is a star to guide us. Hey, I know you're beating yourself up about Blish, but he gave his life to save the world. We should all be so lucky. It's like that thing the Olmacons say. His memory is a star to guide us. I'm sorry about your friend. His choice was a noble one. You should grieve, yes. But be proud of him. 
In my priesthood, we tend a hearth for six days to honor the fallen. If you want, I can... I'd like that. No, you can't. I'm sorry about your friend. His choice was no I'd like that. You want answers. Let people grieve for a while. We'll talk soon enough. <laughs> 